Hello everyone and welcome to Seasonal One. Today we'll start a new series called Orient. What do I know about this series? Basically that from the the character art style it's from the same creator as Mikey. That's it. And Mikey I read up to volume 21. Which I believe it I I heard that's right after where the anime ends, but I haven't watched the anime yet, but that's he, neither here nor there, because we're talking about Orient here, not much. Um, and yeah, that's all I really know, so I'm basically going to go in blind. Now if you're new here, allow me to explain. This is a timer reaction, which means you're going to sync up your own version of mine, and we'll watch it together so that you can get the full experience. But, I, we all like those edited reactions. I know I do too. So I'll try to edit some scenes here and there, but don't expect as if this was a full edited reaction, the amount of the episode. And that's about it. Like the syncing will help. This also help you sync up your version so you know exactly which point I am and if you're not thinking, you're just watching me, you have a better idea of which part I am. And yeah. So without further ado, let's get started. In three, two, one, go. The country of Hinomoto. 1568. Oh. Interesting art style. Wait. There we go. That God. Hinomoto was once a human land, so that means not anymore. The Kishin. It's a, like thick line art style for this initial narration. I don't think it's gonna stay like that. Okay, and they are the demon slayers. No, wait. Bushi. Oh, that's right. I haven't mentioned this. For the first three episodes, I'm not going to be watching the opening. I'll try to avoid hearing the music as well. Um, What else was it? Yeah, um... If you think I should watch the opening earlier, just leave in the comments below. But if you think like there's still spoilers and I should watch it later, just also mention that. I just generally leave it to three episodes because that gives me a basic idea of what's like what's the anime about and everything before I get to the opening and the ED as well. And yeah, so I'm trying to avoid looking at the screen right now, but also I have to keep pay attention to when the opening ends because I also lowered the volume here, so I'm not hearing the music. So I'm also gonna like get the experience on my first one, but it's kind of hard when you don't know what's happening. Um, shoot, I did not look when it started, it's like the timer to get an idea when the opening ends. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to practice this to get into it, but since the timer, not just, like, normally I'm not skipping. Okay, I think it's back. The town of Tatsuyama. <laughs> but yeah, what was I was saying at the end there? It's like, I, I don't skip opening out for, so... The blade. Is it like a scythe or just a curved blade? Like a scimitar kind of style. I... Oni Masters. Yeah, that seems like a scythe. 
and I believe that's our protagonist. I do like his voice, but where did I hear this voice before? I'll have to look it up later. Wait. Oh! Wait. He's using a scythe to mine? Is that... Is that what he's doing? Musashi. Yeah, he's nervous there. For, yeah, because he's faking that. He doesn't like... Oh, the Bushi are the villain, sure. Make, make it sound like, oh yeah, the humans before were horrible. Okay, and why do you know the truth? I guess we're finding out now. Oh, another character. I wonder if she's a... That's a she, right? I actually, I don't know. That could be a he or a she. If that character is still alive, I imagine it's gonna be an important character. But they could also have died. For, like, that's common to happen. Yes. I cannot tell if that's a boy or a girl. Okay, so it is a boy. Thank you, sir. Your Was did he his sensei used to be a bushi? The power of friendship. <laughs> the what? <laughs> Wait. Musashi said the name and I already forgot. I was not paying attention. Oh. But what happened since then? Serve the Oni Masters. Yeah. They basically being they basically being um I forgot what's the word. Not hypnotized, but um. Uh, he's trying, but it's that like his inner voice that's singing only. Yeah. Oh my god, I cannot remember what's the word for the what the Onis did to them. So that they believe all this stuff over time. But it's kinda of hilarious that not only is he using a scythe to mine, but everyone's just like, yeah, that's fine. Like I have this little thing, he has this giant thing. Yeah, he can handle that, so good for him. Okay, so he still goes back to that dojo. Is the other, the blonde guy still there? 
Kojiro. That's the name. Okay, there we go. He looks way more like a guy now. Okay, and what are you going to do about that? That's much needed serious talk. Wait, he never knew. I don't think that's a katana, dude. Mm -hmm. That's not that either. That's called scythe. But that's interesting. A protagonist using a scythe? Well, I guess they're so eater. Now what happened to Kojiro? Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay, so something how uh, 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 something happened to demoralize Kojiro, for him to start to believe that his dad was lying. じゃあ毎日学校で叫んでるあれは何のことだよ。将来の夢は幸福になることです。Oh yeah, because if he said that at school. There will be a lot of trouble. Okay. That's fair. Mm -hmm. It's complicated, but I understand your point, Kojiro. So yeah, he's just, I guess he was just saying that, just say so that it would expel Koji, uh, Musashi from there, so that he would just leave normally and not be ridiculized like that. Interesting, that's all chained up. Uh, so I guess that build up over time. Is the ball and chain really necessary? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because he's not already being discriminated as Bushi, so he wants to save him from that. Yeah. Oh, no, Musashi was the one talking, right? Okay. And this is the entrance ceremony, right? So actually, Musashi doesn't have a unique hair color, but Kojiro does. Interesting. Like, there's a actually, well, normally, yeah, the red head is kind of different than usual, but in this place seems to be 
quite a bit coming. A lot of them are redheads. Like a lot of them. <laughs> Though his hairstyle still stands out from the rest. Like, it's more detailed. Oh, you're in a tough spot for that. And how are you going to do this Leia and Oni without your herbs katana? I'm sorry, what? Those are unique Onis. It has like a crystal in its butt. Okay. Now let's see how it's gonna go without your weapon. Only now you realize that, huh? Yeah, that's what I imagined. Okay, did not expect that either. It's gonna use just a pickaxe to fight it. Like, so buffed up. And he created eyes out of nowhere. Maybe he always has the eyes, just they were burrowed in the fur. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, but he did deliver that training out. You're seeing that how he's serious of become Yabushi? And then you're gonna pop in there and help him out? So he's coming to that realization right now. Yeah, it was something like that. Maybe a little more extreme than that, but something along those lines. Lying to yourself? Yeah. Oh, well, there goes his pickaxe. Kojiro, are you gonna show up now? Or is Musashi gonna have a big moment beforehand? Where did that bike come from? But Kojiro came to the rescue. And that crystal there, I just... Kitetsu mount. Oh, the bike has all those crystals as well. 
When did he get the the scythe? Yeah. Okay, so he actually did not believe he was practicing when he was. Mm hmm. Now we're gonna see them fighting together, I guess, when he's in Musashi Aki, they're gonna have his weapon. I like the soundtrack. Okay. Oh, he knows the stance. Using the ground as a she. Ooh! That's interesting. Well, that's that's an interesting idea. And slice in one go. Cows and vortex shredder. <laughs> now, Kojiro, it's your turn to step up. They're not as buff as the other one. Nor do they have as many eyes. Maybe that one was like the boss. Yeah. yeah it's not really a group if you're by yourself. Like, Luffy only was in a pirate crew once he got Zoro. So I guess we're only seeing Kojo just doing normal slices. Like, nothing special like the Talzin Vortex thing. Shredder. <laughs> yeah, they're buddies. They're ride or die. <laughs> Let's go, Kojo. What happened? Is it summoning the actual boss? Onis and now Kishin. Okay, Kishin are the real problem. Yeah. Oh, they actually call it an Oni boss. <laughs> Oh yeah, he has a scythe. Okay. Now are we gonna see its shape or it's just gonna be energy like that? I guess we won't see it. Oh. Not gonna be hearing the ED. What time is it? Okay. I'm gonna try to... It's 22 minutes right now. I'm gonna try to time it to 23 and 30, almost that. To see if there's any post credit scene, which probably there won't be. And... I don't know what else could be at the end after the credits. Um... And what else is there? Okay, I guess we can start talking about so, yeah, I'm going to leave this to afterward. So, our protagonist, Musashi, has, like, a more detail here compared to his classmates, I guess. And, but it's redhead, redhead, which normally would be a bit unique, but on this, it's actually common, which is different. Um, and what else? Oh, his scythe, which, like I said, is not very commonly used for on main characters, but then I quickly remember 
Maka from Soul Eater. But it seems like he's using it a bit different. Because the whole sheaf on the ground, using the earth as a sheaf, that was pretty cool. Oh. oh, we do have a little thing at the end. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm still surprised that he was able to get the scythe that easily, like from outside. Because the way he's talking is like, oh, he just found it and picked it up on the way. Um, but yeah, so gonna be interesting to see Musashi. I wonder if he has other moves. He probably does, right? Other than the Thousand Vortex Strata, I think that was... I think that's what it was called. And Kojiro still needs to step up his game and have like a special move with a name and everything. Because right now he's just Slash, Slash, Latch, Slash. But hey, now Kojiro's gonna join them and they're gonna form Bushi Band. But first they need to take care of this Oni boss. Which... I'm guessing we're gonna see its appearance ne next episode. Um, brainwashing, there we go. That's the word I was looking for earlier in the episode. The Onis basically brainwash the people, so, like, the lessons and, like, the history, like, they're changing everything, keeping chanting that, so they're basically brainwashing the, the people to believe that. Oh no! Oni are the good people, Bushi are the failures, the bad people. You should try avoid the Bushi. You should serve the Oni masters. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was trying to remember. They were brainwashing them over time. Uh, just as little kids, all the way to grow up. Until it's too late. And yeah, Kojiro and Musashi had been practicing swords since they were little. Even though also she adapted it to use it as a scythe. Even though he calls it a katana, a curved katana. But I wonder how he got that scythe. Because it's definitely different from everything else. Like the katana, sure, there was a dojo. Like there were katanas there. So sure, Kojiro's weapon. Unless it shows up anything special, it's just a katana. We see some katanas there. From the bushi. But where did Musashi get that scythe? I wonder if we'll ever learn that, or it's just... Just accept it. Um... Yeah, I talked about Kojiro stepping up, um... Oh yeah, the bike! That came out of nowhere! I did not expect the bike! This is all like... Feudal Japan kind of st style. Like, the era, so... The bike really, like, pops out, like... What what is this doing here? And I just realized I should have took off the headphones. Um still changing her stuff and some stuff. But yeah, the bike was what? And I wonder what those crystals are about, because like I mentioned before they were in those Oni's butt. But there were also a lot of them on the bike. So I wonder if they're like an energy source. And, and that in, so that indicator from the Oni how much the energy they have, like their strength. So they're eating those rocks to power up and it's converted into strength which increases the crystals. I wonder if something like that or I'm just creating narrative here. But yeah, there's a lot of them on the bike. I wonder if it's just an art style, it's just like that's what fuels it up because this is basically feudal Japan. Uh, oh, and I did not expect much from the animation because I I heard that this first episode was outsourced into another studio, which then outsourced into another studio. But I feel like it was fine. Granted, I'm not really picky with animation, so for me, it's great. Oh. Maybe not great, but it's good. And yeah, I'm curious to see what we have going forward, because 
all I know is that it's gonna be uh, Musashi and Kojiro fighting Onis. That's all I got for now. Oh, sorry, Onis and Kishin. Even though Kishin is a type of Oni, but he got what I mean. But yeah, I'm curious for the next episode. Which, by the way, um, this episode is coming out in a different day, but the other should be coming out on Thursdays. Because I really got caught off guard what, when this episode was released. Like, I only noticed Wednesday night, and I would not have enough time to record, edit, and render the episode for the next day. And the day after, I was gonna rec do record, edit, and render the Komi Can Communicate and Platinum End episode. That's already a lot. So, I would not have time for Orion, but so Orient is actually recorded on, on Wednesdays and I should release them on Thursdays. Hopefully that's how it goes. And yeah, I think that's about it. So with that being said, see you next time. Bye.